Hey, 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 welcome back. You know, at Marcillion Online, it's always a good place to find out where you are, what day it is, and what time it is. And you know, it's Friday, and you know, it's TLF, Till is Fridays. Today we have... Killers in Castle Natria. <laughs> that, that was, I was not ready for that. I was like seeing it halfway come through. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing, guys. If you haven't watched our uh, last TLF where we talked a little bit about how we're looking at the tanks, it's kind of the same thing for healers as well. Yep. It's really awkward to see exactly how good a healer is compared to everybody else because logs don't really show that. They just saw like the biggest numbers, either in damage or in healing. But right now, realistically, if you're still progressing through Natria, one of the biggest challenges that you will probably have are the last couple of bosses. Sludge Fist Generals, uh, Sires, and so on. And usually that's where you'll probably want maybe a specific healer. And right now everybody's geared, everybody's pumping, everybody's been buffed. Restore Druid? Restore Druid buff? Oh yeah, yeah, I love the fucking Restore Druid buff. And we're gonna touch on that in the tier list and see exactly where all the healer specs are going to be placed. So we take, we take a look at healing, also DPS. Because it's um, <clears throat> uh, quite an important factor, apparently. If you want to take it down locks. quick. Yeah, and logs. And logs. We, we did look at the logs, although, you know, it's kind of a, a mix between what we get on the logs, what we see uh, doing DPS, what we, what we see doing HPS. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's probably because <laughs> right now people just play the logs. So they have their entire raid just, yeah. just buff me with everything so I can get the <laughs> highest numbers uh, possible, right? So it's not very relevant. But uh, without uh, the way, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it off, baby. Let's get it with Zeppelin <laughs> Priest. Uh, oh man! You know the the love letter to the actual original DPS, or no, healing through DPS. I would say uh, mechanic prior to monks. I would say prior to monks. Yes, I, I would say so. Um, it doesn't. I mean, it does make sense for discipline. We will touch on this on each and every healer. Yeah. But in terms of like you know the the core concept of discipline priest, we all know it kind of reigned supreme uh, for a long time in Castle Natria, and this mm. is because mostly spiritual. Oh, we yeah, we talked so much nerf. about this. Yeah, even after the nerf, man. I mean, something it's you good. can absorb its way it's is way better than than like just pure throughput. I know I love playing my discipline priest. I, I played it a little bit. In, in heroic, you know, when doing a little bit of footage for the guide, and you know, some people love it, some people hate it. Yeah, but that, I mean, I mean, we, I've heard so many things about. Oh my God, bring me back my bubble discipline priest. I just want to absorb I, things. Yeah, it was and cool. I, and, and I know cool if you really think about it, discipline priest is kind of like the only fundamentally DPS hero because you have a torment as a passive wall. It's the, the other ones you can yeah. talent into healing through uh, through dealing damage. Yeah, but discipline priest, like if you look at some of the top logs, spiritual is such a big part of their overall healing and it's <laughs> efficient because absorbs stay there until they're consumed and it's hardly ever. A situation where you put a shield on on somebody and it just expires without actually soaking any damage. So yeah. that's probably why this Pin Priest has one of the best uh, yeah. healing profiles, I would say. And obviously, you know, damage reduction cooldowns is. Of a course, lot of I mean the utility of a this priest within a raid is unmatched, I would say. And pair, pair that up with the, I would say, mandatory state of healers nowadays in both raids and Mythic Plus of dealing mm. damage. Um, it's you know, as I've said, it has been the king in raiding for so long, but it, it isn't anymore, and we'll, we'll we'll get to that. I would say like judging from you know logs on HPS and DPS plus the amount of utility it has for the raid, it's definitely definitely an eight here um, so, uh, it's, it's very good it's very good the toolkit of discipline priest has, has kept it alongside holy paladin which we'll talk in a second uh, it's kept oh, it as one of one of the best healers ever since uh well for a couple of years now ever since you can actually you reduce the damage that people are taking that's probably yeah. one of the best there's no there's there's no denying that in any competitive or progressive environment having to absorb mitigate damage than to directly heal it is better yeah this is yeah. what discipline yeah. shines on okay and speaking so I think of it's clear okay now let, let's let's uh, let's look a little <laughs> bit at the holy paladin and man since preachers interview there's been a lot of heated debate and we can talk about this uh too in terms of mm. like like <clears throat> this whole stigma of healers uh, doing lots of DPS or being required to do DPS. I always agreed with that, but I think at this point, especially looking at Holy Paladins right now, it has degenerated into a place where, okay, do we really want this fantasy for healers to do this amount of yeah, it's, damage? It's, it's, it's kind a, of a requirement. It's a little bit weird. See, the thing is, this is where I struggle with it. All right, it's no surprise to anybody that Holy Paladins Ventir, do... Holy Paladins. Ventir, of course. Ventir, <laughs> Holy Paladin with the Mad Paragon, you, you end up having a lot of damage on Hammers of Wrath. It is crazy. Plus the Ashen Hollow itself. Ashen, Ashen so Hollow too. There's a lot of its damage as well. But the, the thing is, <clears throat> you are wearing a shield and a weapon and your full plate. It kind of makes sense to like, be able to smack things. Oh, sure. But obviously, that's a really bit of a great 
gray area because I mean, I want to be a healer, right? I want to feel like if I want to just heal, I'll be putting out some serious numbers. Mm -hmm. So I think there should always be a little bit of a trade off when it comes to DPS, right? Yeah. That's it should be like, thing. okay, I can do a little bit more damage. My healing will not be as high, but the damage will be higher. And now we're talking specifically only in the Holy Paladin's case where, okay, how much damage is that going to be? Yeah. Because right now, it's, having a Holy Paladin is like having half of a DPS, sir. Like, it's like having a... <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Paladins are legit making this, this trend, I would say, where it's almost, not almost, like guaranteed required for you to do be able to do mm. significant DPS. And this is a trend I don't necessarily agree with. I want to have the option, right? Hey, yeah. man, I can go and, and do my job as a healer while also adding a, a bit of value uh, to the DPS group. Or I can just have my, my purest value within healing. But that being said, Holy Paladin, you know, the, the, the Glimmer thingy was introduced in BFA. It was a fun, fun, fun uh, healer spell to play i love that that play style uh and it makes to the point you made where like you are like up in front with a shield uh in the meat of the fight it's only natural for you to hit things and also heal through that and now that's saying that being said i still want it to be a choice right like but not a choice in the sense that you know on paper it is a choice it is it is you can choice, play but but the numbers are just not tuned around it because the healing numbers and the dps numbers oh, are this, off the scale so it's the same, same build you do everything you do a lot of healing and you do a lot of damage with the same build that's glimmer the is nice i'm not 100 percent sure that glimmer is the problem i think over the, uh, maybe holy shock is just the numbers. The yeah, but it's, it's it's all intertwined uh, in the mechanic. It's, it's, how you it's play. a lot. It's glimmer. Glimmer is fine, but I feel like uh, Crusaders might into holy shock resetting it so many times. And I mean, you, you kind of have to play this way with holy power. How yeah, that's the thing. That's okay. the thing. I mean, we can talk about you know light of dawn being like the predominant healing metric in raids and yeah, stuff. You know, everybody being stacked. Everybody yeah. stacked and 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 all, and all of that. But you know, we, we you, you cannot lie to yourself, man. It's the damage. You know, the biggest damage from Winter Paladins that can really add up to the spiciness but it's also high throughput right high dps yes, this is because of their baked into the same thing that's maybe the issue like if you had if uh, let's say holy paladins would do like 50 percent less healing by doing that amount of damage maybe it would have been okay i think i think there's a sweet spot to be had on holy paladins uh yeah. like back like how they used to be like really spot on tank healers that could be their main main that's choice what I remember, but yeah yeah that was like the the main dish and you can like work around that in terms of like balancing dps and hps but no surprise, guys. Holy Paladin is S tier. Uh, in all regards, it has to be S tier. For one, the one, one of the best healing throughputs, one of the <laughs> highest, definitely the highest damage throughput. Like, yeah. if we're talking about damage, Holy Paladin is about two tiers above, above the next. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's, Looking it's at the logs, un it's unreal. insane. And, you know, you, we can always talk about the Paladin utility, you know, from the auras to, the, you know, blessings, you know, sack and bop mm -hmm. and, and all of that. It can, it can save a lot of people as well. So, it's no surprise, it's an S tier. And we can make Maybe develop a little more the discussion on at the end of the video regarding HPS DPS things. Okay, now another holy spec, but this time for the <coughs> priest. Holy priest. This holy is priest. this is a contentious one to, to decide because see, this is the thing, right? Right now, what you want in a raid is uh, the highest numbers, definitely highest numbers. Holy priest is putting out the numbers. When it comes to like raw HPS, holy priest is just middle of the pack. It can dish out a lot. Um, there are certain uh, other specs that can just match their cooldowns a little bit better with the mechanics that are coming sure. to take more advantage of it. Holy priest is just solid. Holy priest is solid. It's very hard to lose out with it. It probably has more damage than other healers, but you do have to sacrifice healing for it, which I think it's okay. It's okay. This is yeah, how, that's, this that's how, okay. I, how okay. I feel like it should be. Yeah, and, and it, it doesn't mean Holy Priest does not deal damage. It does quite, you know, I think it does more than discipline based At some point, in some fights, Maybe? for sure, definitely. Uh, it, it's only the thing that, you know, we can say that Holy Priest are the, like one of the most reliant healers. You can never really go wrong. I know we had Holy yeah. Priest in our in our heroic progression, you know, for, for the months uh, uh, in the past, but... I feel like th this is the thing, right? The stigma that you have because of Holy Paladins, because of Disciplined Priests, and I'm not They're only talking... Right? Yeah, th that's the thing, right? Because ho Holy Priests are 100% viable on dealing damage and healing. And if you, and if you look at their, their healing profiles, you can see like heal and their mastery is like, you know, the, yeah, the it's, representative it's very, it's very, it's super you, efficient. If I'm not mistaken, I think Holy Priests were very crucial to progressing through sunking at the, let's say, halfway through the progression system right, where right, people right, right. were like hitting those sunking blocks and i mean that's that has value in and of itself in terms of like like uh, uh hps 
uh, as you said, they're the, like uh, sort of like in the middle of the, the pack. And in terms of like DPS, when compared to the others, while looking at the locks, right? So looking at locks currently in the game, uh, DPS it's, is it's, not it's there. It's actually respectable uh, levels of DPS because you do you 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 cannot translate mind blast and uh, holy fire. Is it again? Yeah. You cannot translate those into healing. So I think it's fine. The, the level of damage that holy priests do and a lot of other heroes that are kind of like on the same tier when it comes to damage. Is respectable. It's okay. It, it helps. Sure. Maybe it could be a little bit better for it to actually matter, but who knows how much the the top holy priests are actually focused on dealing damage as opposed to actually healing. Yeah, that, that's true. And, and all that being said, I, I think it's a, a, a safely assumed C tier for now. Uh, it's at it's this definitely point in the game. it's that's. It's hard because maybe if more discipline priests would play holy, you might see a higher tier. But the thing is, at the end of the day, you really want cooldowns. And we're going to yeah. talk a little bit more cooldowns as we get to uh, some of the last specs on the list. But sure. so right now, sure. we do have... Oh, boy. Uh, oh, man. Mystery, mystery for right, right. Man, I think we, we can both say we, we both love mystery for so oh, much. It's, it's one of the, the funnest uh, playstyles uh, uh, that you def can have. Definitely. And I always felt that in, in terms of like, like pure HPS... It, it, it had the stigma of having the biggest throughput, but that's not the case anymore. It's, it's not, still it's not, good, it's not it's, bad, it's, but... You run out of mana, see, that's, that's the thing, because uh, the potential of Mistweaver healing is very high. Uh, yeah. with, with the new Celestial added, Yulon, you do like a crazy amount. The thing is, when uh, when we played Mistweaver for the guides, uh, whatever gear level we had, I think I was very under gear for the keys that we're doing, yeah. I popped Yulon, and I, uh, after three seconds, everybody was full, and I just didn't have I anything. Believe it. <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't use it anymore. It's just not efficient. It's a lot of healing, and you, people don't really need that much healing. Not to mention that Mistweaver has some glaring issues with mana, as opposed to other healers. You have mana management options, and that can keep you above the average Mistweaver, but you will have issues. And the thing is, similar to Holy Priest, I think Mistweavers were one of the better specs to use on Sunking because combining Cocoon with, uh, is it Guardian Angel, Guardian Spirit, I don't know what Holy Priest has, uh, you just make the target take increase amount of healing. But that's the thing, when you combine that, that like that, it's just it's nobody out. needs that that amount that <laughs> yeah, amount of healing. But it's 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 super specific, and as we said at the beginning of the video, the make or break for this tier list is actually the the last bosses. The most efficient uh, healing playstyle with Miss Weaver is definitely Rising uh, Rising Mist, aka Fist Weaving, aka what Holy Paladin actually is. <laughs> yeah. But the damage is just not there. Like even yeah. even if you do take that, even if you optimize on doing damage, the damage is like bottom tier. Like it's a little bit better, better than, than, than Holy, Holy Priest. Yeah, yeah, it's better than Holy but Priest. See, it's better than Holy Priest when Miss Weaver actually heals with the yeah, damage. Yeah, that's dealt, true. So. That, that's true. You don't like damage also translates to healing, so it's very, very uh, difficult to actually uh, buff the damage because you also inadvertently buff the healing. But uh, yeah, yeah Miss Weaver, it's I think it's way overshadowed. Uh, yeah, we can we can. I think this is our first D tier uh, yeah. on the tier list. It's it, it's a bit it's a bit sad, and you mentioned like the the mana problems, and uh, there, there's a couple of other things. We, we do we do hope that 9.1 will address some of this. I think there are some buffs around for for Mr. Bear. Yeah, hope hopefully. Yeah, I know that there's some buffs uh, and there's some buffs, especially in the PvP department. But it's still I, I, I still feel it's lackluster, and it could be worked on just just a tad bit to make it a little bit more. I would say not competitive, but the difference between a Mystery Vermont and a Holy Paladin is just too big, and this is where they look, need yeah. to look at, uh, at things. That being said, all the healers we talk about here are viable, no problem. Oh, yeah, the logs uh, I was looking for Mistweavers had Mistweavers top their their other healers in the raid. So see, if, you you're, if you're good enough at what you're doing, you can just yeah. essence font everybody. Yeah, that, that that's cool. And essence font is like like the, the biggest thing they have for the raid. Uh, with uh, what is it, a con conduit or uh, the the legendary? Which re uh, uh, it's the uh, covenant uh, from Kyrian that resets yeah. essence uh, font. If you're going to be using yeah. it, uh, if you're going to be using it that way, but it just buffs mass you a lot, and you just get like a lot of mass. Hell yeah. Okay, now let's check out Resto Druid, which has seen buffs in 9.0.5, mm. and things have changed a bit for Resto Druid. Um, you know, a lot of people believe that because of you know Boomy Convoke, you're gonna do super big damage and whatever, and it's it's respectable damage as Holy Priest, but it's still in, in that department where it's, you know it's, it's not bit, that it's impactful. Slow, yeah. yeah I was surprised because I was doing it on the, on my Resto Druid, and I was yeah. like, oh, I kind of feel like this, this is, is why, a lot of burst. Th th this is why I didn't even bother doing that much damage on when I was playing Rest of Druid because I always felt like mm. shit. It's like, man, I, I can use this time to just, you know, prep up my hots or just maintain rolling the hots on everybody. I just didn't care because yeah, it didn't feel impactful at all. I, I could see it work on Sludge Fist. 
Uh, definitely on pillars, you yeah. can have like every every other pillar. You can do like a lot of burst. Damage. It does do a lot of burst healing, but at the same time, it does uh, sorry burst damage. But at the same time, it does really good when you use it for healing. Uh, oh yeah, it's well. so it might so be good. better in dungeons though. Yeah, it it is better in dungeons too. I mean, in terms of like HPS, uh, Rist or Druids are like on par. I think even slightly better than Holy Paladins. Pure yeah, pure healing. They were, they were actually some of the top Ristos were overshadowing Holy Paladins in, in the top 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 top. Uh, there's top, potential top, for Rist or Druid to to do everything and obviously you don't need to do damage yeah i mean that's the thing you can do damage and uh, once again there's this stigma oh you're healer you have to contribute with damage but i feel resto druid is one of those specs where you don't get that much of a reward or just doesn't really feel good when you do damage i felt much better when i was like okay i'm just like a heal bot i'm just making sure my my hearts are ticking mm. right and i'm saving my you know my convoke for you know big big moments like in in healing intense phases or whatever and that felt much better because when you want to do damage and I always love like cat weaving, right? Oh, uh, that, was, that was so much better. That was super weaving. nice, right? And then in BFA, that was so good, right? You loved it. But at the end of the day, really good numbers uh, in terms of healing, bad numbers in terms of DPS. I think we can put it into the B tier. Yeah, uh, it's, it has, it, it, I think it has risen since last time we looked at raid healers, uh, probably because of the boss, also because of the gear, because keep in mind, guys, we're, we're, oh, we're yeah, mostly yeah. thinking about, okay, what are healers doing now? Not not during progression, because things change since the first uh, yeah. first week of Nathria. Yeah. Different discussion altogether right now, as most of the people we're looking at unlocked and also testing ourselves geared almost to the teeth and you know it's it's also another thing right during progression a lot of people learn the fights learn the mechanics yeah. learn tips and tricks and whatever you know it's a different animal than right now where like kind of everything is planned out so final picture right okay Bristol us do it B tier, I would say it's really good. Yeah. Definitely fun to play. And the last restoration on the whoa mm, restoration shaman. Shaman, shaman is uh, is also a, a weird one to classify because it did really well at the start. It was a very popular healer. It still has one of the best cooldowns a healer can have in in, in a raid, which why it puts it way yeah. up there when it comes to just raw HPS. If you want raw HPS. You, like Riptide is very efficient healing. Obviously, with the leader, you can just free, get free Riptides every now and again. Not oh, to yeah. mention Spirit Link <laughs> is a major save. Really good, yes. And yes. on fights like um, fights on Sludge Fist and Denathrius, when a lot of when people are just stacked, Earthwall Totem is a fucking godsend, man. Yes, just definitely efficient. The, you can definitely look at that Resto Resto Shaman a bit like you would look at Discipline in the sense that it has a lot of mitigation, right? Mm. Um, and like you said, Rip, Riptide being like like the most I would say obvious uh, healing metric to to for, for the rest of shamans. It's, it's no surprise in terms of HPS. They're just a little bit behind this priest, although like really on top. So they're like like on the main you know main yeah, niches it's, of it's, it's, HPS. Uh, I think what's holding uh, Resto Shaman back from being, <clears> let's say, <throat> among the big boys, which I think it's swing before, it's, it's still a good spec, it's just that yeah. um, it's very hard to factor in utility because the more gear people are, the less the uh, Resto Shaman utility is. Resto Shaman utility is, I feel like it's really good early on. When when people are just getting chunked, they're, they're in danger of dying, you pop a Spirit Link, you save three people at once, it's very efficient. Uh, the more gear you get, the less healing people need, the more those cooldowns just sit, and uh, yeah. then when it comes, if you and if you just want to, your Resto Shaman to do damage, because it doesn't need to do that much healing, it's not gonna it's do It's not, not that great, I mean, it's better than, than Resto Druid and, and Holy Priest, but it's it's still it's, it's, way, it's, it's, it's way a little bit It's a little bit lower yeah. than Mistweaver as well. <clears throat> but overall, I think like, uh, I think it's a solid beat here. I don't know which, which one of these two is better. I think in uh, terms of like- uh, Number wise, I think Druid is better, but the cooldowns are just better for Resto Shaman, so yeah, it kind of yeah. depends on what you want, yeah. really. And, and also, Resto tends to take take a little bit on 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 on, on the damage you know, when compared to Resto Druid. So, yeah. <clears throat> in terms of like the, the overall picture, it's a little bit sad to see we have a D tier, but I think there's no surprise that Mistweaver bugs have have been seeing some problems in in Shadowlands, and that well, doesn't to, mean. Yeah, it's I, the thing is, uh, I mean, <laughs> you guys need to understand, it's not because Mistweaver is bad, but because there's a difference between Mistweaver and yeah. Holy Priest, yeah. right? right? There's, uh, let's say the healer balance kit can go a little bit better. We can probably say that maybe tanks and DPS are balanced a little bit better than healers right now, but yeah. it's so hard to balance utility. And this is probably <coughs> another thing that, you know, Preach uh, talked about Ian about the utility. utility. Yeah, well, yeah, specifically that's... about one aspect, which we will not mention because it's not really relevant to <laughs> yeah. the guide, but they, they, yeah. they did uh, seem to want for more classes to have more radio to more impact. Classes, on, uh, not specs. That's interesting because, you know, 
uh, the discussion can be moved to like like druids and stuff, you know, with ferals and bumpkins or whatever. Yeah. But um, in terms of like how we started this tier list and the stigma that is in the, the quote unquote meta, it happens in, in low tiers as well as high tiers. The this pressure for healers to to do DPS. I don't think that's okay. I think you know it should be an option if you like that playstyle, go ahead. But some some drawback has to be made over there. Um, this is just because it, it started, I think, since Legion. Um, up until then, there was only this priest who were, who was in that category. But from Legion moving forward, things have degenerated, and you have situations like Holy Paladins and this priest right, right now, which can really overshadow some of the other healers in terms of this, you know, quote unquote uh, objective of adding to the DPS value. I don't think that should be the case anymore. Maybe uh, it's a question of bosses being tuned to where you don't need that value. I know. World first progression will take advantage of everything in, in terms yeah, of like yeah yeah we it's, it's hard to judge to make a hierarchy based on world first progression but yeah uh, once you're decently geared like people just don't take as much damage anymore yeah. like individual survivability has been a thing that seems to have affected classes more and more <laughs> and it kind of has to because if if let's say demon hunter has a lot of leech mm -hmm. and just heals itself you cannot really leave just the the other ones not not uh, actually have some form of sustain and that yeah. overall reduces the need of healers to cover the raid and obviously tanks are just getting better and better and better and yeah. so this yeah. is the thing this is the thing i feel like in 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 some capacity you almost feel like you 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 need to like s s be super efficient with dpsing rather than healing right i agree that it's a fun mechanic to play as a healer to like dps but it shouldn't be the norm Right. Yeah, it should be either an option or just a minor advantage that if you decide to not do it or just don't feel like it, you know, you're not going to uh, make your group suffer because of it or something like that. Right. So I'm hoping some sort of balance will be struck on this because clearly uh, there's there's a big gap between something like Holy Paladin and something like Mr. Vermont. And in, in all fairness, fantasy wise, I would see Mystery Vermont be like the, the most prominent, you know, kick and 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 punch and yeah, heal through that right i was i was looking at some of the streams some of the people that actually helped us with feedback on healers uh, yeah. one uh, one person uh, was uh, playing the pink <laughs> miss weaver which <laughs> was the yeah. holy the holy paladin that, i find that incredibly hilarious because yeah. what holy paladin is doing now seems to be like what miss weaver was supposed to be doing all along but the difference is just way too high and it's just number swinging and it's probably be like this because they don't want to change specs they don't yeah. patch. they don't when so we'll see 9.1 this will definitely change definitely and that being said you know we love playing holy paladin as much as we love to play mystery for and basically more or less all the healers this is a more objective you know view on, on yeah. everything in terms of like what you want to play and find fun everything is right over there play whatever you like we've seen progression with all the specs doesn't really matter but in terms of what's happening now this is the the picture and that being said we want to first off thank the patreons for the support on the monthly basis you know keep keep going on our class Appreciate guides it. our updated class guides that we're working on uh right yeah, now yeah, yeah. the podcasts which now are are focused on specs from the the game you know talking with the big boy brains from you know the discord theory crafters you know so five, super about five or six episodes yeah now. and more and more to come uh for sure we will eventually going to cover all the the specs obviously the tlf show which i think we we have only one more for healers in mythic plus uh next week and then we're going to focus on the fun tier list right like what yeah. we consider fun in all departments melee ranged healer tanks you know uh, raids mythic plus we're so gonna know the comments are gonna hit hard oh on yeah one. well it's gonna be a subjective one so the the fun tier list are coming for sure uh, i think in two weeks from now we can talk about you know fun because it's only only right yeah. so thank you you're supporting that and if you ever thought of joining the team that way check the link in the description peace out to all of our twitch gang discord dudes and dudettes <laughs> thank you very much everybody <sighs> Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. Getting better every day. Let me show you how. Cause still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure. So just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wow.